This is Credit Matters, and I am Larry Whitty, Senior Director with S&P Global Fixed Income Research. The third quarter of 2016 marked 16 straight in which S&P Global upgraded more U.S. public finance ratings than were downgraded. After a second quarter that saw more sectors in U.S. public finance experience more downgrades than upgrades, there were more upgrades in the majority of sectors in the third quarter. However, the downward movement of state ratings continued with two downgrades compared to one upgrade. For the year, S&P Global Ratings has downgraded seven state-issued credit ratings, ICRs, including Illinois' two times, while upgrading just two. There were five defaults in the quarter, all in Puerto Rico. The total number of defaults in 2016 is 14, more than the 12 in all of 2015. Finances were the most common cause of rating changes, with 108 upgrades and 95 downgrades. Economic conditions were strongly positive as rating factors, leading to 48 upgrades and 5 downgrades. Criteria triggered 23 upgrades and 10 downgrades, and 29 of these rating changes occurred in the water and sewer system and higher education subsectors. S&P Global Ratings raised 209 and lowered 158 U.S. public finance ratings outside of housing in the third quarter. With the addition of housing, the totals were 219 upgrades and 161 downgrades. Local government issues, including tax-secured and appropriation-backed debt, led upgrades and downgrades in the second quarter, with 151 and 61 respectively. States had two upgrades and 52 downgrades, with the lowered ratings being general obligation, appropriation, or moral obligation ratings on Kansas and Illinois, and five defaults attributed to Puerto Rico. Utilities had the third highest number of rating actions, with 35 upgrades and 16 downgrades. Higher education had six upgrades and 23 downgrades, including charter schools. Not-for-profit healthcare had 13 upgrades and 5 downgrades. Housing had 10 upgrades and 3 downgrades. And transportation had 2 upgrades and 1 downgrade. S&P Global Ratings recorded 5 defaults in Puerto Rico in the quarter. These included a Puerto Rico Highway and Transportation Authority gasoline tax issue and 3 appropriation ratings. For the year, there have been 12 defaults among U.S. public finance bonds, the S&P Global Ratings rates more than in any other year other than 1991 and 2013. But Puerto Rico has accounted for 12 of the 14 defaults. Through September, the S&P Muni Bond Index is up 4.2%. The S&P Muni State General Obligation Index trails other main municipal indices. The state index is up only 2.8%, the only sector with gains of less than 3% for 2016. Healthcare is 5% higher. Transportation is 4.9% higher. Higher education is up 4.6%. Utilities are 4.5% higher. Local government general obligation is up 4%, and housing is up 3.5%. For more information, please read our report on third quarter 2016 rating trends for U.S. public finance. And thank you for watching.